Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News, episode 107. So today's episode, guys, I'm doing another Windows 8 tip and trick. So today, I'm going to show you how to disable that pesty UAC. Now, if you guys don't know what UAC stands for, is the user account control. Now, if you don't know what the user account control is, I'm going to show you. Now, the user account control has been... A been in the Windows family since Windows time. It's annoying then, it was annoying then and is annoying now. Uh, so, uh, some people know how to do it on Windows 7. Um, so in Windows 8, it's a little different. It's a lot of workarounds, but I'm going to show you how to turn it off. Uh, so, so let me show you what the PESTI UAC user account control is. So I downloaded a VLC installation package that I want to install and then when you double click on an application you will get this pesty little thing. That is the user account control. Now you might say to yourself, okay I do have admin rights, why am I getting this dialog box? Now the reason why is because again, Windows has more security features within itself and that's why you get the user account control. It wants to make sure that you know what you're doing and that uh, this application is going to be making changes to the computer account now uh, I did a little research on myself and I found out there is a registry key that you can actually go to and uh, configure it and disable it now doing the uh, doing the registry is a big no-no I'm going to show you guys where the registry key is at but with Windows 8, if you mess around with the registry key, a lot of applications won't work properly. But I'm going to still show you guys where the registry key is located. So I'm going to hold the Windows key and hit R as in Robert. I'm going to minimize this right here. And I'm going to go to uh, Reg Edit and hit OK. Again, see that UAC? Gotta hate it. And uh, I think the path that you need to go into would be uh h key local machines software microsoft and windows so let me expand this expand this and let's go to the windows windows where are you and we want to go into the current version and within the current version we want to go inside the policies and within policies you want to go to system and then within system you should see enable you enable LUA so you basically want to change that one to a zero now uh, keep in mind uh, this is a warning this is a big big warning do not do the registry key uh, the reason that you do not want to do the registry key is because I've noticed uh, on my testing environment when I did it uh, a user was having a lot of issues with certain applications and then when I put that one back and rebooted the machine all the problems disappeared so I want to show you guys other ways to get around with so we're gonna do a Windows R again and uh, one way is actually going inside the MS config panel and within the M MS config panel, you want to go to the tool section, highlight change UAC settings, and right at the bottom right here is launch it. Now, when you launch it, you get this nice little dialog box that a lot of people uh, notice this on Windows 7. And Windows 7, this is actually located on your taskbar or on your control panel. Now, when you launch this, as you can see, the default is notifying me only when apps to make changes to my computer default that's the whole problem that we're getting so to get rid of it take that slide and you want to put it all the way down never notify me when apps try to install software or make changes to my computer I make changes to Windows settings okay this is not recommended but again if you want to get rid of that little pesty little dialog box hey you could do that and press OK and again you're gonna get it it's gonna say uh, do you want to make sure you're making the following changes yes Okay, and we're gonna press OK. Now, option two, again, there's always ways to do things on the Windows OS. So option two, we're gonna do a another Windows X command, and the Windows X command is gonna bring up this little dialog box, which is our admin's friend, and we want to go into the control panel. Okay, 
Now within the control panel, you want to go into user accounts. Now most likely your thing looks something like this. I like to change it to small icons. Makes it a little easier to find everything. You want to go to user accounts and within user accounts, you're able to change, you get the little option right here to change user account control settings. And that's another option, another way to get into the user account control settings. Uh, again, uh, because we already made the modifications when we went to MS config, shouldn't have any problems. And the, uh, the next option, can't say the last one, uh, but the next option is group policies locally on the machine. You could probably push this worldwide, so I'm going to do another control R to get the run command. And we want to do a GP edit dot MSC. Now, once you do that, you want to navigate to, and I'm trying to remember where you got to navigate, because sometimes I forget and you want to go into the computer section so let me expand this and you want to go to the computer section you want to go to windows if in within windows i believe you want to go into the security section and it's taking its time security section and within the security section i believe when that pops up you want to go into the local policies again it's taking a while because i got two other virtual machines running in the background uh, preparing myself for the next episodes for BJ Tech News. Uh, so, come on. There we go. And then you want to go to local policies. And within local policies, I believe you want to go into security option. And the option that you want to do is let me expand this right here. Click on this, hit U and the one that you want to go into is the user control behavior for administrative prompts and admin mode so you want to double click on that and you can change the settings as you want okay and i believe there's another group policy that you could modify and it's this one for standard users that's if you want standard users to have a prompt and I think that's about it guys these are the options that I could provide you guys to do what you need to do uh, hopefully you guys uh, will enjoy the video give me some thumbs up if you do enjoy the video as well at the very top right there there is a subscribe button that you can slap or hit or do whatever you want to subscribe to my channel to get the latest and greatest tips and reviews on hardware and software and I'll catch you guys later thank you so much